Breaking news. NASA officials have issued a monumental warning and shut down all activities after years of groundbreaking missions and discoveries. What has led NASA to take such drastic measures? What hidden dangers or challenges are they facing? Join us as we uncover the reasons behind this unprecedented decision and explore the future implications for space exploration. Welcome back, space enthusiasts. Today, we delve into a shocking revelation from NASA that has shaken the space community to its core. From the legendary Apollo missions to the cutting-edge Mars rovers, NASA has always been at the forefront of space exploration. But now, they've issued a grave warning and halted all operations. What could possibly be so serious to warrant this decision? Let's find out. NASA, the National Aeronautics and Space Administration, has been pioneering space exploration since 1958. One of its most iconic achievements was the Apollo program, which successfully landed humans on the moon. On July 20, 1969, Neil Armstrong and Buzz Aldrin became the first humans to set foot on the lunar surface, marking a monumental leap for mankind. The Apollo missions provided invaluable scientific data, including lunar rock samples and extensive photographs of the moon's surface, proving that human space travel was possible and sustainable. Following Apollo, NASA pushed boundaries with the Space Shuttle program. Launched in 1981, which enabled repeated human missions to space and the construction of the International Space Station, ISS. The ISS became a hub for international collaboration and scientific research, leading to advancements in medicine, engineering, and environmental science. NASA's robotic missions have also achieved remarkable success. The Mars rover missions, including Spirit, Opportunity, and Curiosity, have explored the Martian surface, searching for signs of past life and studying the planet's climate and geology. These rovers have transformed our understanding of Mars and its potential to support life. However, recent years have brought new challenges and concerns. Increasing solar storm activity poses significant risks to satellites and space missions. Solar storms can disrupt communications, damage electronic equipment, and endanger astronauts. Budget constraints have also been a persistent issue, impacting NASA's ability to plan and execute long-term missions. Moreover, the rise of private space companies like SpaceX and Blue Origin has shifted the landscape of space exploration. While these companies have made significant strides, their emergence also brings new competition and collaboration challenges for NASA. So, why has NASA issued this tremendous warning now? The primary reasons are multifaceted, involving both technical and financial challenges. NASA officials have highlighted the increasing threat of solar storms, aging infrastructure, and budgetary constraints. Solar storms, caused by eruptions on the Sun's surface, can release massive amounts of energy and charged particles into space. These particles can disrupt Earth's magnetic field, potentially causing widespread damage to satellites, power grids, and communication networks. Concerns about the aging infrastructure of NASA's space hardware also play a significant role. Many of NASA's satellites and space probes have been operational far beyond their expected lifespans. The Hubble Space Telescope, for example, has been in service for over 30 years, and the Voyager probes have been exploring the outer reaches of our solar system for over four decades. The risk of critical system failures is increasing, and the cost of maintaining these aging assets is becoming unsustainable. Financial strain on NASA's budget is another critical factor. The costs of developing new technologies, maintaining the ISS, and funding ongoing missions have escalated. Limited resources force NASA to make tough decisions about which programs to prioritize. This financial crunch has been exacerbated by fluctuating government funding and the need to collaborate with private companies, introducing new challenges and uncertainties. Additionally, the increasing amount of space debris orbiting Earth poses a significant collision risk to operational spacecraft. Thousands of defunct satellites, spent rocket stages, and other fragments could lead to a cascading effect known as the Kessler syndrome, making space activities increasingly hazardous. Geopolitical tensions also impact space exploration. 
The international nature of space missions requires collaboration among various countries. Rising geopolitical tensions could threaten these partnerships, complicating joint missions and shared use of space resources. The combination of technical risks, financial limitations, and speculative theories paints a complex picture of why NASA has decided to halt operations. The immediate effects of this decision are far-reaching. Current missions, including the highly publicized Parker Solar Probe and contributions to the Large Hadron Collider, will be suspended. The Mars Rover program will also be impacted, delaying the gathering of essential data and potentially postponing human exploration of Mars. The ISS, a hub for international collaboration and scientific research, will feel the impact as well. NASA's contributions are substantial, and halting these activities could disrupt ongoing experiments and international cooperation, potentially straining relationships with partner space agencies. In the long term, research and development of new technologies will be delayed, impacting future missions and innovations. NASA has been working on new spacecraft, advanced propulsion systems, and sustainable technologies for long-term space exploration. This progress will be stymied, potentially delaying human missions to the Moon, Mars, and beyond. The economic ramifications are significant too. Job losses and other negative effects on the aerospace sector could result from redistributing finances and resources. The entire rate of space exploration may be slowed down by the knock-on effect, which might affect private space enterprises that depend on NASA contracts and partnerships. However, this shutdown could also be a strategic move to reassess and reallocate resources more effectively. NASA officials suggest that this pause will allow for a comprehensive review of current projects, risks, and strategies. This could lead to more focused and efficient use of resources, ensuring that future missions are better planned and executed. One of the primary technical challenges facing NASA is the increasing threat of solar storms. The latest data suggests that future solar storms could be far more severe than previously anticipated, posing significant risks to all space missions. Additionally, budgetary and financial restrictions are impacting NASA's ability to juggle expensive projects while working within a tight budget. There are also conjectures and hypotheses regarding extraterrestrial encounters and unusual architecture. Some theories propose that NASA's decision-making has been influenced by evidence of extraterrestrial life or mysterious constructions on the Moon or Mars. While these theories are often written off as speculative, they add an intriguing layer to the story. So, how do these underlying reasons converge to explain NASA's shutdown decision? It's a combination of technical risks, financial limitations, and speculative theories that paint a complex picture. Are we witnessing a cautious move to reassess priorities and strategies, or is there more to the story than meets the eye? NASA has a long history of collaborating with international space agencies. The ISS, for example, serves as a hub for scientific research and technological development, fostering international cooperation. With NASA shutting down its activities, coordination and support for ISS operations could face disruptions, impacting ongoing experiments and future plans. NASA's crew health and performance exploration analog missions have been groundbreaking, simulating long-term Mars missions and providing valuable insights into sustainable living on the Red Planet. These missions test the resilience and adaptability of astronauts in a controlled environment, preparing for future human presence on Mars. As we reflect on NASA's decision to shut down activities, the progress and potential of programs like these emphasize the stakes involved. Will the shutdown delay the momentum of critical research, or will it provide a necessary pause to reassess and strengthen our approach to space exploration? NASA's recent decision to halt all activities has sparked intense discussion about the future of space exploration. Despite this setback, the agency has ambitious plans and missions on the horizon that promise to push the boundaries of human knowledge and capability. What does the future hold for NASA, and how will it navigate the challenges ahead? Stay tuned as we continue to explore the universe and beyond. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon for more updates on space exploration and beyond.